am Dr. Balaji Tamil Salon, working as a assistant professor and consultant physician in a good life cleaning. So today's topic is about understanding hypertension. So in this topic, we are going to discuss about what is hypertension and how we are going to prevent it. Generally, everyone likes to have a normal and healthy lifestyle, right? So we are going to maintain a normal blood pressure. So what does that mean? So in this topic, we are going to see elaborately. So whenever the heart pumps, the blood is exerted and it reaches the blood vessels. So the pressure is exerted on the uh, blood vessels is known as blood pressure. So moving on to hypertension. Hypertension does not have specific symptoms. Okay, specific symptoms are signs initially. So later on only we are able to find out when the results in a complication. So early diagnosis and accurate diagnosis of a patient having a blood pressure is very important and it should all be treated earlier. So that's only we are calling hypertension as a silent killer. So the early and accurate diagnosis helps to prevent hypertension. The only way to note hypertension earlier is monitoring blood pressure. So now we are moving on to the symptoms of hypertension. What the patient is going through and symptoms and comes to you. So the first symptom is a very common symptom is morning headache. Okay, that's going to be very severe or it's going to be present throughout the day. And other symptoms associated with uh, like giddiness, vomiting and loss of consciousness and blurring of visions are the most common symptoms which going to see in the patients. Okay, so how are we going to measure this? So it is easy to measure blood pressure. So the measurement is done by an uh, instrument called sphygmomanometer and we are going to measure through the through that only. So what is the measurement required to uh, check and what is the normal levels? So whenever the uh, patient checks, the normal level for the uh, blood pressure is 120 bar 90. So what is 120 bar 90? Now we are going to see. So 120 is the first one, we are going to say systolic and the second one is diastolic. What means be systolic? So whenever the heart contracts, the pressure exerted is known as systolic. Whenever the heart relaxes, okay, the pressure exerted is known as diastolic. So these are the two differences. So, when the patient is having a blood pressure of more than 140 by 90, okay, so the patient is diagnosed as a hypertension. That should all be, should be a persistent hypertension, okay. The patient regularly for monitor and it is like more than 140 regularly. So, when we found out that and we can label them as a hypertension. Otherwise, we can go, ask the patient to go, to go maintain a serial monitoring which helps to a patient to know whether he is hypertension or not. So, the main purpose of this topic now we are going to see. So on May 17th, we celebrate a World Hypertension Day. So what is the theme of this time? Measure your blood pressure, control it and live longer. This is the main theme of this year of World Hypertension Day. B because more than 1 billion of people are affected with this. So whenever we control it in earlier, so we can able to prevent the complication which occurs due to the blood pressure. So the risk of hypertension and the risk factors which helps you to reduce uh, uh, hypertension and helps to lead to a healthy lifestyle. So one by one we are going to see. So first one is regular exercise and second one is diet which helps to reduce hypertension and next one is quit smoking and alcohol. Third one is stress management. Fourth one is adherence to the medicines which we are given by the doctors and we, we are going to see elaborately. So what is first one? The regular exercise. So it is a very easy one which okay uh, which is helps to maintain your blood pressure. So it is also a drug free easy one. Okay, so normally you should maintain a 30 minutes of early walking to help you to uh, control the blood pressure. Okay, so what is the benefit of this doing exercise? So it helps you to uh, ask to pump blood less number of blood so that the pressure exerted on the vessels also will be reduced which helps you for the longer period of time to escape from the hypertension. So the next most important thing we are going to say is about the diet. So how we are going to see that? How healthy diets. So the what normal healthy diet, what the diabetic hypertension patient should take. One is fruits, vegetables and grains. Okay, in a high amount. So what is that? Is there any easy way to find out? Yes. There is a way of called DASH diet and patient having a taking a less sodium diet and more potassium diet and taking less saturated fats and uh, following this helps you to reduce the hypertension. So in the diet the next most important thing is sodium. So what about sodium? In even in nowadays, in even elderly people used to say, reduce your salt intake so that you have hypertension. Reduce, reduce. So what is the benefit of that? So reducing your salt intake, that is sodium, it helps you to uh, control blood sugar of five to six millimeter of mercury. Okay. So how to prevent it? So normally the patient asks, without the salt, how the food will be? It will be very bland. Yes, correct. But 
the only way of controlling hypertension is amount reduce your salt so one spoon of salt contains 2300 milligram of sodium okay so that is a very large amount so you try to go for alternative spices okay or reduce the salt as much as possible which helps you and try to avoid processed food because all the processed food without the uh, without salt it is not able to process the any food okay so avoid processed food or whatever the food you are getting read the label of the food and get the instruction whether it is salt is added and what is the amount of it added so that it helps you to prevent it from uh, going for a hypertension so next to the reduction of sodium what we are going to see is quitting of alcohol and smoking so it is very important yes it is very important because it involves a cardiovascular risk so once the patient started quitting and alcohol and smoking it helps the patient to get the risk uh, risk from the cardiovascular okay so next we are going to see about this measurement of blood pressure so what is the measurement of blood pressure as you see earlier with the milk or the sphygmomanometer it helps to measure the blood pressure so it is very difficult for the patient to come daily or a weekly to uh, report to the uh, doctor with the blood pressure so for that only we are advising the patient and helping the patient to monitor the blood pressure level on their own and report to the doctor so the doctor able to see the blood pressure and to prescribe the medicine according to that and to may, to may, to monitor the risk factor the patient is going okay so next we are going to talk, see the topic is about stress so stress so nowadays we are all the generation are facing stress tremendously so reducing the stress factor is a major important so how are we going to reduce it is based on the each individual okay so whatever they suits them okay physically and emotionally their stress should be reduced like uh, listening to the music or going for a walk or playing with the kids okay so it helps you to re reduce the blood pressure also so moving on to the major component now that is adherence to the medicine okay so whenever the doctor labels you and identify the you that he is having a you are having a hypertension if a do doctor prescribes you a medicine so you please don't avoid it or don't discontinue the medicine because it results in a several complications okay so it is a if you have any other complication if you have any side effects or any symptoms of taking after taking a medication you can directly consult the doctor and doctor able to tell you and decide the dosage and drugs okay so ultimately now we're going to came to the end of the topic so what we are seeing so we have seen about what is blood pressure and how to control blood pressure and how to prevent it so if you follow all these ways it helps you to prevent blood pressure and control the blood pressure which helps you to live a long life which everyone wanted okay so i wish everyone to have a good life good and healthy lifestyle thank you